Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to learn all about the multiplication algorithm, which is just the traditional way of doing a multiplication problem. And it will kind of help you as you watch my videos right before this that are some different strategies for multiplying. It'll help you um, as you work your way towards doing it the fastest way, which is the algorithm. So let's dig in and learn all about it. All right, so let's start with this problem, 45 times 13, and really dig into the algorithm and the steps that you can follow. And I think once you get these steps down, you're gonna notice that this strategy is the fastest one. So it's kind of nice to learn. Um, so what we wanna do with the algorithm is we start just like you would if you were doing the addition or subtraction algorithm, you always wanna start with your smallest place value. So we're gonna start with five times three, those two numbers in the ones place. So what is five times three? Okay, awesome, 15. So you're gonna write it down just like you would if you were adding, um, doing the addition algorithm also. You're gonna write the five down in the ones place and put that one over with the tens where it belongs. Okay, then we want to do everything times that three in the ones place. So sometimes I even cover up the, um, the number that's in the tens place down there because then it reminds me that I should do every digit times three. So next I'm gonna do the four times the three. And one thing I love about this algorithm is that I don't have to think about my place value um, of the four because my answer is gonna automatically put things in the right place value. So that's why, you know, in the other strategies we've done, we always think about how that four is worth 40. Well, in this case, we can just say four times three and just make it easier. So what is four times three? Yep, 12. Then we're gonna add that one, just like you would if you were doing the addition uh, algorithm. And so then we get 13. We'll put 13 down below and see it put it in the correct place value. Because if we're thinking about 13 tens, since we were working with the tens place, um, then those are in that right spot. Okay, now we're done with the three. So I have a strategy that I really like to do and it's a little rhyme to help me remember it. But since we're done with it, we can say X, O, and I'll, we'll talk about why we put that zero there. And then I say no go to tell myself that I'm done with that one that I regrouped earlier. So let's say it again just to practice because I know it's kind of new for you. So it's X, O, no, go. And that rhymes to help me remember. And the reason why we need that zero there is because the next things we're going to multiply, you could probably guess this, but the next things that we're going to multiply are my 45 times that one which is really, what is that one really worth? Okay, great, yeah, it's a 10 since it's in the tens place. So that's why I need a zero on the end of that part of the answer. Okay, so let's start now. What is five times one? Five, and then four times one is four. Okay, I've got it all written down. Now, what do you think I should do with my two, um, I call them partial products, they're parts of the answer. What should I do with those two parts of the answer? Okay, you got it. We're gonna add those two up. It will give us our total answer or our product. All right, there we go we get 585 for this problem. Okay, great job. All right, now I wanna try a little bit more of a challenging problem. So 58 times 24. 
And I want to see if we can remember some of these steps. So what do you think you should do first in this problem? Okay, awesome. The smallest place value, and that would be eight times four in this case. So before you answer what, what eight times four is, I want to make sure you know that, you know, some of us have our, some of our multiplication facts memorized and some of us don't. And I want to make sure you know that it's okay either way. Um, if you have them memorized, it just makes it faster for you. And if you don't, you can always be working towards that this year. And you can also get to the answer by doing some counting, some different strategies. So in this case, we could um, think about counting by fours eight times. Okay, so four, eight, 12, 16. Keep that going until you get to eight groups of four. So what do you think? Okay, 32. So we're going to write down our 32. And how do you think you should write it down? Okay, awesome. That two goes in the ones place and the three belongs over with the tens, so it goes above the tens place. Great job. Okay, now we're going to um, think about what we should multiply next. What do you think? Okay, awesome. I'm gonna use my finger to cover up the two and 24. And that helps me to remember that, oh yeah, I have to multiply everything times the four first. So now I need to do five times four. So what is five times four? Okay, awesome. 20 plus the three is 23. And it just got everything into the correct place value. So it was pretty quick there. All right, now, who remembers my rhyme to help you know the next step before we start multiplying by um, the two and 24, what do we do first? Okay, awesome. X, O, no, go. Okay, let's do that again just to practice. X, O, no, go. Now we're all set for multiplying by the two. So now I can do eight times two and then five times two. So let's start with eight times two. What is eight times two? Okay, 16. So we're gonna write it with regrouping. So the six goes down there uh, in the tens place. The one goes above the five. And it's a good thing we did XO no go because I might have mixed up that, you know, do I add that three? Do I add the one? I might get confused. So that's really why we do the no go part of the step. All right, now we can do five times two. What is five times two? Okay, 10 plus the one is 11. And now I've got my two partial products. Do you remember what we do with those two partial products? You're right, we add them together. So let's add them together right now. See what we get. See if you get the same thing as I do. All right, oh, that's a pretty big product, final product. It's 1,392. Great job. All right, so I have one more problem for you. Um, this one is 71 times 36. And I think what I'm gonna do is have you pause the video, give it a try, and then come back. We'll check your work and see if you got the same answer as me, see if you did the same steps as I did, and we'll just kind of work it out um, at the same time. All right, good luck.
All right, so check out my answer and my steps and see if you got the same thing as I did. Uh, if you did, great job. You may be ready to try any combination of uh, two by two digit numbers. So maybe just practice anything you can make up. If you didn't though, you can always go back and watch my examples again and uh, really try to get those steps down to feel more confident about it. All right, so I hope this helped you today. I hope this helps you in your class or at home, wherever you're learning, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.